In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a fast and responsive YouTube feed like this on your WordPress website. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but if you want to check out the free version with less features, you can do so through the WordPress repository. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download YouTube Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your WordPress dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Then go click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for you. YouTube feed pro like this and click install now once the plugin has been installed click activate plugin there we go YouTube feed pro has now been installed and activated we have one last step before we can create our YouTube feed and that's activating the license key to do that on the left hand side you'll now notice YouTube feed hover over it like this and click on settings and here beside license key go ahead and paste the license key from your smash balloon account like this and click activate and as you can see our license key has now been activated we can begin creating our YouTube feed once again on the left hand side under YouTube feed go click on all feeds next click on add new at the top begin creating your YouTube feed, you first have to specify a feed type. With the plugin, you can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, a feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you favorited, and more below. For this video, we're going to continue with the feed of videos from your YouTube channel that's already selected for us here, so we can go click on next. Then you should see a pop-up like this asking you to enter your YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen, or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have it ready, click add API key, then paste it here like this, and click add. And now on this tip, we'll have to add a source for our YouTube feed. The plugin gives you three convenient options to choose from depending on your channel. You can either enter your channel handle, your channel ID, or channel username. For this example, I'm going to enter the Smash Balloon channel handle, just like this, and click on next. And for our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our YouTube feed. You can choose from options like default, carousel, cards, list, gallery, and more. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the carousel layout and click next. And in just a matter of minutes, we have a beautiful preview of our new YouTube feed. The feed is currently displaying all the latest videos from the Smash Balloon YouTube channel that we added. And since we selected the carousel feed, site visitors can go and browse through the videos on your feed by clicking on the buttons like this. We can now go and embed this feed on our WordPress web page. Before we do that, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find options to modify the layout of your feed. Currently, we have the carousel layout selected, which allows you to swipe through the videos on your feed just like this, as I showed you earlier. And at the top, we have the grid layout, which displays your videos in rows and columns like this. Second, we also have the gallery layout, which highlights your latest video at the top, just like this, followed by the rest of the videos in rows and columns. And lastly, we have the list layout, which displays all of your videos in a single column list, just like this. For this video, let's continue with the carousel layout. And if you look below, we have several options to modify this carousel layout as well. You can modify how many rows are displayed inside the carousel. You can simply open it up and choose between one or two rows. If we go with two rows, you can see that change made automatically inside the live preview. I'm going to change that back to one. And if you look below, you also have options to disable certain features inside the carousel, like the navigation arrows on the left and right hand side, as well as the pagination dots at the bottom, these ones here. If you want to hide these features, all you have to do is uncheck this box here, and you can see that element has now been hidden. But if you want to bring it back, you can simply go and check the box once again. And underneath that, you can also enable autoplay, which automatically swipes through the videos inside your carousel like this. I'm just going to leave that unchecked. And below that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display inside your YouTube feed. Currently, it's set to three, but if you want to modify this, all you have to do is type in the number of columns you want to display, just like this. And once again, that change has been made instantly inside the live preview. I'm going to change that back to three. And lastly, at the bottom, you can choose how many videos you display inside your feed as well. We've got nine videos currently on display inside this carousel feed, but if you want to change that, all you have to do is type in the number of videos you want to display. For example, if I change it to six, the feed will automatically update to show six posts inside the carousel instead. I'm going to change that back to nine. And once you're happy with the layout of your YouTube feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your YouTube feed, under the Customize tab, go click on Color Scheme. As you can see currently, our color scheme is set to Inherit from Theme, which means that the plugin will automatically match the design of our WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with the Light Theme, Dark Theme, or even a Custom Theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed just like this. And once you're happy with the color scheme, make sure to hit Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header of your YouTube feed, on the left-hand side, go click on Header. Currently, we've got the text header enabled, which is a simple header with modifiable text down here. Alternatively, you can go with the standard header, which shows your channel profile picture, channel name, number of subscribers, as well as the channel description. And if you want to disable the header entirely, you can go and disable it at the top here. But for this video, I'm going to keep it enabled along with the standard header style. And if you made any changes, go click on save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your YouTube feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do this, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, like this, and click on Add. 
This will take you inside your WordPress web page and to embed your YouTube feed, you have two different options. The first option is to use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that you copied earlier like this. Alternatively, you can use your dedicated feeds per YouTube block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a preview of your YouTube feed on your WordPress web page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And right in the middle, we have our brand new YouTube feed that we just created. All the latest YouTube videos from our channel are displayed inside this feed in a swipeable carousel that allows you to interact with it just like this. And if a site visitor wants to check out any of these videos, all they have to do is click on it like this, and that video will automatically start playing inside a live box view. And below the video, you can see that we have a YouTube channel handle, number of subscribers, and a subscribe button on the right-hand side. If you click on the subscribe button, that will take you directly to the YouTube channel with the prompt here asking you if you'd like to subscribe. And if you're wondering if you can embed our YouTube feed into the sidebar or footer of our website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I've just created a new YouTube feed for the sidebar of our website. To embed this inside the sidebar, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget. This will take you into the WordPress widgets menu. And to embed our feed, we have the same two options as before. We can use a shortcode block and paste the shortcut that we copied, or we can use a dedicated feeds for YouTube block just like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your YouTube feed inside the sidebar widget. Now you can click on update, and let's check out what that looks like on the live website. And once again, we're back on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle, we have that YouTube feed that we created earlier in the carousel layout, where users can swipe through your videos like this. But now on the right-hand side, we have a second YouTube feed directly inside the sidebar of our website. This feed is just as fast and responsive as the first one, and includes all the latest videos from our YouTube channel as well. This one also features a subscribe button, just like the one I showed you earlier. And at the bottom, you can see we have a load more button. If I click on that, it will load even more videos directly inside the sidebar of your website. And if a site visitor wants to check out any of these videos, they can click on it like this, and that video will start playing inside the sidebar of your website. So you now know how to embed a fast, responsive, and beautiful YouTube feed inside your WordPress webpage and onto the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.